There we are. Hello, beautiful people of the world. Today is September 26, 2020. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, almost afternoon here in New England. I'm enjoying my morning. I hope you're enjoying your morning too. And I wanted to take the time to just talk about myco, myco remediation this morning. So what is myco remediation? Myco remediation is the use of mushroom mycelium uh, to uh, break down complex carbons and pollutants and chemicals in the soil uh, with the end result being fresh, compostable, healthy soil. Uh, so essentially, microremediation is the use of mushrooms to help clean up oil spills and pollutants that exist in our environment today. Um, oil spills, uh, pollutants, these are something that is uh, very known to us humans. It's also something that is uh, one of the largest issues we face right now uh, moving forward in this earth is that we have done a really good job of uh, degrading and polluting the environment but as we all know, uh, the environment going forward, we must take care of it because uh, if we don't, then our children will not have uh, a world to grow up in like we did. So uh, micro-remediation is a new technique uh, that has been uh, uh, really discovered over the last few years here. It's been known throughout mycologists and a lot of people in the actual uh, mushroom industry for a while, but the research is now coming out now and the push to make it more mainstream. Um, has really brought it to light as a credible technique to use. Uh, so how does micro-remediation work? Well, uh, let's just, uh, we'll go over um, uh, a case study here. So let's just say we had uh, a polluted, uh, let's just say there was old factory sites, right? And the soil around that factory site had pollutants in it. Oils, oil residue from oil spills from the factory, uh, maybe some gasoline runoff, um, some other chemicals that are in that soil now. Um, where I grew up here in New England, um, in one of the major cities, that's one of the issues that we were facing is that we had a lot of these factories that were left over from the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, 70s. Um, and then when those companies moved out, uh, these factories have really just been sitting there and we can't even use it in the city because the way that the ordinance works and the environmental protections work, um, that that soil is not good, that building cannot be used, that factory cannot be used. So this is uh, an example that uh, is, is, is happening all over the country. Uh, but what, what we would do is you would take a substrate that mushrooms grow in. Uh, in this example, uh, we could say saw, sawdust, or um, straw. So we would take the sawdust and straw and we would sprinkle it all over that polluted area and what it would do is it would absorb a lot of the oils and chemicals that are existing as pollutants in that area. And then we would take that sawdust or straw and inoculate it with mushroom mycelium. And then what the mycelium is going to do is it's going to slowly grow all throughout that straw and sawdust that is absorbed by the chemicals. And what it does is it eats and breaks down the complex hydrocarbons. Um, so it'll break these molecules down to a much smaller level in which uh, microorganisms that exist in the soil will come in and it will finish the job of completely eating and breaking down the carbons and the hydrocarbons, complex, complex carbon structures even further. Uh, the, the end result is we had this soil that we, we absorbed up with pollutants, we inoculated it with mushroom mycelium, it was really unhealthy when we inoculated it, but now that the mycelium has grown all throughout that soil, um, the end result is a compostable fresh soil that can be used to hopefully grow vegetables. Uh, uh, it'll bring back a lot of the uh, microbial life. Um, uh, it'll bring back a lot of the bugs and the insects that have lived there. And more importantly, it'll make that area usable again for humanity, for us to now take down factory sites and put up new, um, maybe a residential area, or maybe we open um uh, a city garden there, um, but but the but the but the 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 point I want to drive home right now is that mushrooms actually have the ability. Mushroom mycelium actually have the ability to help us clean up a lot of these pollutants that exist through micro remediation. Um, that's one technique there. Another technique I've learned in in, 
in, uh, in a lot of the books I've studied is a simpler one for those of you that are at home. Uh, say you're doing an oil change on your car in your driveway and you spill some oil on your driveway floor, right? Um, some of us would maybe spray it off with a garden hose, but what's, what happens when you do that? Uh, you actually spray the oil into your grass, into um, the soil that's around your home, and that actually pollutes that area. So it's not a good idea to, to really spray oil that way. Uh, what you could do is you could do exactly what I mentioned, where you take sawdust or straw and sprinkle it over your driveway, over that oil spot, let it absorb the oil up into it, and then you collect that straw and that sawdust that has now the oil in it, and then you put it in a tub, and then you can buy some uh, oyster mushroom spawn online. There's a good website called northspore.com who sells it, and you just get these rye grain, uh, rye grain that has mushroom mycelium in it, and you can just break that up and you just sprinkle it right in that tub, and then you just let it sit in that tub and closed. And over about a two week period, you're gonna notice that the mushroom mycelium will grow all throughout that soil, all throughout that substrate, and it'll look white like a block. And then that's how you know it's fully colonized. Um, but when you wait longer and you let it go through its, its normal life cycle, the mycelium will die off as it does. And the residuals from dead mycelium is soil. This is something that is important. So you can now have this compostable soil that used to be uh, sawdust and straw soaked in oil, but now it's compostable, healthy soil that you could actually take and go and put into your garden in the backyard, go and put into your flower boxes, and um, go ahead and plant stuff in it. This is, uh, this is one of the fascinating things about mushroom mycelium, um, is that they, the end, they, they are the decomposers of life. Um, they are the first, they're there at the beginning of life, and they're also there at the end of life. Um, in this case, how they help the soil is that they're decomposers. So they, they eat all of the bad stuff in the soil. They grow just as they normally grow. And then when they die, the end result of dead mycelium is soil. And this is why mushrooms are responsible for much of the soil that exists on Earth today. It is the dead residuals of fungi, mushrooms, that are eating um, everything. They're eating... All of uh, all of a lot of uh, the dead leaves and trees that fall from the forest floor. They're eating a lot of what we're putting into the earth as for as far as forms of uh, of spillage, residual spillage. Uh, they're 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 decaying animals. They're decaying people. Right, mold, fungus. These are all fungi. But when they go through that process, at the end is soil, healthy compostable soil for us on the earth. Um, it's, it's time that we started understanding that nature is intelligent, nature is medicine, and nature has the ability to solve a lot, if not all, of the problems that we as humans are facing on Earth today. Um, one of our goals here at Raps Caps is to help contribute to this research. Um, me, myself, I have an MBA business background. I've taken a step now into more of the biological uh, mycelial research, so um, this is a technique that we hope to be doing here in Connecticut, along with a lot of businesses in the area, uh, micro remediation, uh, both on the consultation side, but also actively trying to help uh, turn over a lot of the soil uh, that has been polluted in the past. Um, so that's something that you can continue to hear more about. If you subscribe at rapscaps.com to our free email newsletter, you'll get all this free education all this free mushroom education, and you'll be able to stay up to date on some of the techniques that we're doing here at the company. And then the final thing that I want to call out is uh, we just opened up our brand new shop. Uh, so you can head to rapscaps.com and you can go shop. We have t-shirts and hats right now. Uh, one of my goals, so wraps caps. So I'm trying to actually make a whole hat collection out of here. They're all mushroom themed, bee themed. Um, we support a portion of all sales on our website and our company to helping to save uh, the honeybee population from colony collapse disorder. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, roughly 30% or more of the honeybee population around the world has died off over the past couple years from an issue, uh, many issues, but one of the major ones being colony collapse disorder. Um, and mushroom mycelium, the sap from the amadou mushroom, the reshi mushroom, and other mushrooms that we're identifying now are actually helping the bees fight off this virus that they have inside of them that shrinks their wings and actually pr 
causes them to die off. This is a part of colony collapse disorder. Uh, we now see that mushroom mycelium are helping the bees fight this virus off, which is helping them stay alive longer, which is helping to end colony collapse disorder. Um, so we've made it a commitment here at Raps Caps to support this initiative through the form of mushrooms. Um, and your donations through us, buying through us, means you're supporting the bees. And yeah, so, you know, definitely go check it out. Uh, we've got a whole line of hats on there, and we'll be adding more as time goes on. A lot of different things. But this is it. It's uh, Sunday uh, midday. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday afternoon. Try to get out in nature. Take a nice walk. It's beautiful out there. And I hope you learned a lot about, about uh, micro remediation. All right, everyone. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.